Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's yours truly, Monique Maylac. And why don't you journey with me on a road to donating my kidney to my husband. So for those of you that this is your first time to my channel, my husband is in stage five renal kidney failure and is in need of a kidney. So we started our journey as far as going to the kidney transplant centers and everything, maybe about five months ago now, five, six months ago, um, we got our first call from a kidney transplant center and we started our process. Since then, we've gone to two facilities and I believe we're getting ready to go to a third facility. Um, they let us know from the gate, um, get on as many transplant lists um, as you can. So, so here we are. Um, uh, first of all, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that you can journey with me while we're going through this. Um, this is one of the most hard but amazing journeys I've ever been on in my life. Um, just the opportunity to be able to help my husband or, you know, if you're helping a loved one, this is such a great, great, great opportunity to do so. Although it's scary, stressful, overwhelming. I think at the end of the day, it's still the most selfless thing that anyone can do. And so I'm glad to be on the journey. So my last video, I was talking to you guys about the cross match. We were waiting for our second cross match test to come back. And this test would determine whether I would be able to be a direct donor to my husband. <clears throat> And so I was waiting for the call, I believe the day that I made my last video, and I said, I'm going to come back. Well, I didn't come back. I did get the call. And so what happened was they called and said that they did not feel comfortable with me being a direct donor to my husband due to antibodies that they saw in the cross match blood test. And I think um, I was reluctant to do a video that day because I was I had a lot of mixed emotions. However, I knew that this could be a factor. I knew that this could come up. And so we always knew that this could be that wrench in the game. However, it's really not. As I explained in the video before about the exchange program, that was always on the table. And so since they said I could not be a direct donor, meaning they will not take my kidney and give it to my husband, I am still giving my kidney for my husband. And so we are now on the list uh and on the exchange program list i'm sorry and i explained it before so basically what this is it gives an opportunity for people who cannot be direct donors to their spouse to their child to their loved one to their friend but what happens is so for instance they'll take me and my husband they'll put us on the exchange list and basically there'll be two more people let's say there's another married couple just for example and that husband and wife were trying to donate to each other, but they could not for whatever reasons. Maybe the blood type wasn't the same. It could have been antibodies in the blood work. So what they would do is pair them up with another couple who... Um, who are compatible so meaning my kidney my blood everything lines up with that other couples um say it's the husband so my stuff lines up with the husband so i would in turn give my kidney to the husband and say the wife's um blood work and everything lines up with my husband she would give her kidney to my husband so we're still in the game we're still in the process and no matter what i'm still donating my kidney for my husband so now we're on the road to donating my kidney for my husband um also while we did get that call and it was a little you know i know it was discouraging my husband didn't really take it well i think it really discour discouraged him because of course it's easier if we're just if I'm donating to him, the process is just a little bit easier, but I'm so glad that they have things like the exchange program that helps millions of people because everybody's not going to be compatible. You may want to give your kidney to someone, but there are things that could stop you from doing that. Your blood type, um, like I said, a cross match. I would prefer for us to be safe than to be sorry. You know, just suppose this place said, well, we see some antibodies, but we're going to do it anyway. What would happen is the thing about the antibody test is that they're trying to make sure that your blood will not fight against the recipient's blood. If the blood fights against each other, the kidney is not going to, you know, receive well, and that's going to cause problems. And so, although 
that wasn't the news we wanted to hear. I'm so glad that we still know that we're still on this process and that there's still a way for us to get it done. And so we are now in the exchange program. I'm very excited. I'm super duper nervous um, only because I know with this facility, there's a there's a chance that say for instance, I may have to give my kidney up first, meaning say I have to go first. I have to give my kidney to the other re recipient on the other side. And then my husband might have to wait a month before he gets his or vice versa. He could get his kidney first. And then like a month later, they could call me and say, okay, your recipient is ready. So that's the only difference with the exchange program is that you can't just say, okay, that couple, this couple, we all go in at the same time. Um, <clears throat> now, good news we did get that day was that we now have an appointment with Mayo Clinic, which was one of my um, top choices. I love where we are now. We've been working with MUSC. They are amazing. Um, but we do now have an appointment with the Mayo Clinic, which is super exciting. Um, there's no difference. I think the only difference is you, you're talking about a bigger facility. They probably have more surgeons on hand. So, <clears throat> Uh, like maybe if we did the exchange program through them, there's a possibility all the surgeries could be done on the same day. Um, and so that gives you a little bit of peace of mind, but I'm very excited <clears throat> that we do have an appointment. So we're going to go out there soon. As soon as they make our appointment, we're going to go out there. We're going to go through the same process again, do the eval, blood work, everything. I'm pretty sure we'll have to do most of the same testing. But some of the testing, since you've already done, we've done so much testing that now the facilities can reach out to each other and they'll send them, you know, the big stuff, the CT scans, all of that stuff. They'll send them all of that stuff. We'll probably just have to do like um, urinalysis, blood work and things like that. Um, any extra things, maybe blood pressure testing, things of that nature. But, you know, we're still here. Um, like I said, you know, like my husband, I think he took it hard. And that day I, I had to kind of take it in. That's why I didn't come back and do my video right away. I needed to take it in. I needed to, you know, talk to God and just, you know, just get strength from him to continue to stay strong for my husband and, you know, my family and just reassure my husband that we're still in this. We're still going forward. Our process has not changed. He still has to go before the board. Um, next month. Well, we're almost in August, so they'll be bringing his case back before the board, just looking at his um, dialysis, making sure he's been consistent, and they're still going to say, you know, yes or no, whether they're going to move forward <clears throat> with him. And once they do that, the center that we are at now, MUSC, let me know. Once they bring him before the board and they give him his yes, because I'm, I'm believing that it's going to be a yes, then we, we just keep going right in the process, except now we're on the exchange list. And so um, with that, you know, she was very open and honest. She said it could be a few weeks. It could be a month, you know, before we find the perfect match. You know, she said by the time we reach out to you next, it's because we found the match. We found the two people and we're going to do the exchange. So I'm still excited. We're still in it, you know, and um, my faith is still big concerning this. I'm still giving my kidney and I let my husband know my yes is still yes. I don't care where it's going as long as you're as long as he's getting what he needs to live the, the rest of his life out um, with a better quality of life. And so we're still moving forward. You guys, we're still in it. Um, like I said, now we're just on the road to me donating my kidney for my husband. That's right, for my husband. And um, so we're just soliciting again the prayers of, of all of our friends, our family, and even the people I've been connecting with through YouTube. Thank you guys who have subscribed to our channel. Um, like I said, it, it's a very overwhelming process at times. So, um, you know, sometimes I just have to sit and I have to take it all in before I come on and do my video and keep you guys up to date. So um, forgive me, but I had to take it all in. It was just, it haven't even been a week, so it haven't been that long, but I had to take it all in. And, you know, I had to just, you know, you know, you have to tap into to the source. My source is God for strength so that I don't get discouraged along the way. Because like I said, when you're dealing with 
another person, like I said, I have my husband, somebody else, it may be their wife or your child, your cousin, your best friend, you know, keeping them encouraged and trying to understand what they're feeling in their body and how they just want relief. I can't, I, I, I can't take that in. I don't know what my husband feels like. I don't know what he feels like in his body. I can see sometimes, but I really don't know what it feels like. I don't know what it feels like to hook up to a machine for hours and hours on end of a day. I don't know what it feels like to be limited in my mobility. I just don't, you know? And so uh, sometimes I just have to kind of take it in. I have to go sit somewhere by myself and just, you know, breathe in, breathe out, take it in and, and be more sensitive, be more compassionate towards this situation that my loved one is in. You know, they're going through something in their body that, you know, words cannot always explain but us looking from the outside, like I could see sometime, I can see when he doesn't feel well, I can see things changing. And as a wife and his friend, you know, I can only encourage him and let him know I'm here with you. I'm in it for the long haul, no matter what the cost, you know, um, I was preserved for such a time as this, as he has been preserved for such a time as this. And so I just have to believe with every ounce of my being that this is going to work out for us. It's going to work out for our good. We are going to uh, go through with this kidney transplant and we are going to come Come out with a testimony. I believe that. Would you agree with me? Thank you so much for agreeing with me. I'll be back. Um, I'm hoping that we get a call this week that we'll be able to make our appointments at Mayo. So I'll be back to talk about that. And I'll come back and talk a little bit more about this exchange program and how everything is working with that. So thank you guys again for journeying with us, with me on the road to donating my kidney for my husband and stay tuned with me. Keep praying with us. Don't forget to subscribe until next time, guys. Bye.